Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some testing on some chalk paint. I want to make my own homemade chalk paint and I've seen a lot of people out there with different methods to make it. We are going to put those to the test today and see which one is best. All right, if you want to know how to do that, stick around. I'll show you how. Okay, for this first one, I'm just going to use regular plaster of Paris that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to use a container to mix my paint in and I'm going to use a cup to make, to pour my paint into first to make sure that I just have one cup because I'm going to mix these in one cup increments and I just marked it on my plastic cup and I'm just going to pour one cup and I'm using um, Sherwin-Williams Tricorn Black Matte Paint. I'm just going to take a piece of wood. I'm using the same wood for all of them. And I'm just going to write on the back of it which one of them I'm testing right now and that's going to be the plaster. Since there's so much dust in the plaster, I am going to use a mask and then I'm going to start mixing. I'm going to use gloves as well because I don't want to have to wash all the black underneath my nails. Okay, you just need a quarter cup of the plaster and four tablespoons of water. And you want to make sure that you're using cold water on this. And I'm mixing this in a separate container before I pour it into my paint so I can make sure that I get all the clumps out first. And just mix it up really, really well. Okay, then I'm going to pour my paint into a container that I have a plastic cover for because I do want to keep it and make sure that I can use it again. And I'll show you how it looks the next day. If it's too thick, you can add a little bit more water to it. Then I'm going to go ahead and slowly add in my um, plaster into my paint and I'm going to keep stirring until it's completely mixed in. Don't pour it all in at once because it'll take too long for you to get it mixed in. Then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add in one more tablespoon of water because it was still a little bit thick for me and start painting my piece of wood and I'm just going to use a brush that's round that's made for like chalk paint and you can get these on Amazon actually you could use any brush you want to I just got this one because it was for chalk paint and I'm going to cover the front the sides all of it and then I'm going to let it dry and I'll show you the difference between all of them when they're completely dried and then I'm just going to go ahead and put my lid on it and I'm just going to write plaster on it so I know which one it is for the next one, we're going to use baking soda. We're going to use a half a cup of baking soda to three tablespoons of cold water. And I'm just going to mix it in the same type of container that I did before so I can put a lid on it at the end. And this, this will be a thick mixture. Don't think that, it's, um, that you need to add more water. Three tablespoons was all I added. But it is pretty thick, and I'm going to put um, another cup of that uh, paint, black paint in a container, and I'm going to mix all this together. Just mix it really, really well. You want to get all the clumps out of it. My dogs are very, very busy today. Okay, next I'm going to take another one of those pieces of wood, and I'm going to go ahead and mark on the back which one I'm doing so that I can compare them at the end. And I'm going to take that paint, same paintbrush and I'm just going to paint the entire thing, top, sides, and everything. And exactly the same way as I painted the other ones. And then I'm going to come back in after I finish and I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on it and put the same name on it so I know exactly which one is which. This next one I'm using calcium carbonate. You get that on Amazon. I gave $7.77 per pound. I'm going to write the name on the back of the wood of what one I'm using and on my lid and then I'm going to start mixing. Now I'm going to mix four tablespoons of calcium carbonate with four tablespoons of cold water. You want just enough to get it dissolved into the calcium. And then really mix this thoroughly. Don't rush on this part. You want to make sure you have no clumps. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and add our black paint to our container, and then we're going to slowly mix this in. Just kind of take your time on this, put it a little bit at a time, because you want to make sure that you get it mixed up pretty thoroughly. And I'm just using some disposable bowls that I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to paint my board the same way I did the other ones. Okay, for this last one, we're going to use a tile grout, and it's a sandless tile grout. And I got this at, um, on Amazon. I'll give you the link for it as well. And you're just going to use 
two tablespoons of water to two tablespoons of grout. Now in here, when I first mixed it right here, I probably just used two to one, but I had to go back and add some more. So go ahead and use two tablespoons right here. And then just get that mixed up thoroughly. Now this did take a little bit more time to mix because it was pretty thick. And then to add a little bit of paint to it just to kind of help the mixing process go a little bit faster. And again, we're using one cup of paint for each one of these recipes. Okay, and here's where I went in and added my extra um, tablespoon of water. Okay, and then just slowly pour this into your paint and stir it up as you're doing it. This one actually mixed easier than any of them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paint my board just like I did the others. Don't do too, many, not too much paint on them. You kind of want to do light coat. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put a lid on mine and label this one as well. Okay, so I had a good comparison. I came back in and I painted another one with a Waverly black chalk paint just to kind of get the texture to see what the difference was. And I'll show you all of that after they dry. I'm going to let them dry 24 hours. Okay, so now that I've let them dry 24 hours, I'm going to show you the comparison. This is original chalk paint. You've probably used it before. That's Waverly chalk paint. Then this is going to be the plaster. It actually lightened up a lot more. It's not quite as dark as the other ones, I think, because all the plaster. That one's the tile grout. It actually looks pretty good. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but you can see the difference in the comparison between how much it lightened up on the plaster. Now the calcium carbonate, it has a nice smooth finish on it. Actually, I think I liked it the best of all of them, but the plaster is good, but it does, does get a little bit light. The one made with the baking soda, forget it. It, it was just way too gritty. Okay, for price comparison, the calcium carbonate, it's $7.77 for a pound. The tile grout was $9.99 a pound. And then the um, plaster is $9.99 for 8 pounds. We're going to go ahead and test the, the consistency now after it's set for 24 hours. You can see that you can still use the plaster. You can add a little bit of water to it. The tile grout, no way. It dried up. You cannot use it again. It'd be good for small projects, and that's about it. The baking soda was out, the calcium carbonate, still a nice smooth finish once it's dry for 24 hours. So probably the calcium carbonate and the um, um, plaster are probably my two favorites so far. Now I am going to wax them and then we'll do a comparison after I wax them. Okay, I'm just going to use a clear soft wax on these and I'm going to start with this little bristly brush, but I ended up changing it over for a, a towel because I did not like the way that this handled. You do want to cover these with wax, otherwise you can they will scratch. So I went ahead and got them all done, but I'm used to, just use a soft cloth. It's so much easier and just kind of go any way you want to, any direction, just kind of get it smoothed in real well. Okay, now after I've waxed them, I'm going to compare them. The plaster was real inconsistent with the color after I've added the wax. The tile grout looked real good, but that's going to be for a project that you're going to get on and get done. The calcium carbonate, definitely my number one pick. I'm going to do my furniture piece with this. And the paint held up well overnight so I can store it for more projects. Hey, thank y'all so much for watching today. I hope it really inspired you to get out there and make something as amazing as you are today. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell if you want to see future videos. If there's something that you would like to see me make this year or some kind of product comparisons or anything like that this year, be sure and leave me a comment in the description below. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Love you guys.